dinners. After dinner is the forging competition. There are 24 positions available. There are not 25 or six or more. Uh, so if you want to play, there will be a list generated at some point. I'm not sure just when. But uh, when the list comes to pass, there are 24 positions and or more. Forging competition, big fun tonight, after supper. Our first demonstrator hails from Tennessee. He has done many things in his life. I think he's going to be a very entertaining demonstrator, a great blacksmith and artist. Please join me in welcoming John Weiner. Oh. Thank you very much. Let's see where we're at here. Oh, that's ready to go. OK. Um, let me just say what I. What I like to do a lot is um, a very improvisational approach to the ironwork. Um, I do lots of different types of ironwork. Um, a lot of it is just putting, like, say, on a fire screen, getting a frame together, and then decorating it at whim. Um, that wasn't going to work for this show. I was going to uh, draw out some ribbon and do a lot of twisting with the ribbon, but I would have spent all the time with the little giant here, and I don't think you want me to do that. So I'm going to go back to my roots. My roots of blacksmithing are very utilitarian. Uh, I was working as an iron worker in a uh, sawmill and a uh, millwright in paper mills. So I'm going to celebrate the bullpen, the lineup bar. And there are some interesting joints I found by just piercing a hole, cutting it open, slitting and drifting. Um, so I'm going to do a little play with that. You can see how I work at home. I have a fly press, a large power hammer, but most everything is done at the anvil. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is put a head on the uh, bullpen, and then we're going to um, slit and drift a couple holes. I'm going to try and keep them as straight as I can. This is one of those jobs I'm constantly torn between a shop foreman saying, let's go, let's go, let's go, get it done, if I'm trying to put it in a, a certain amount of time, and the artistic nature of trying to bring something to life. So where's my little sculpture here? The other day I came up I, with a little piece of here, and this is just, um, this is what I'm going to try and be going after. Something kind of simple that I think I can pull off that comes to, I want to show some kind of movement, some kind of human movement, human form, activity. Um, I like to combine the, the discipline of a utilitarian uh, piece with the flow and, and movement of um, life. So that's what I enjoy doing anyhow. So we're going to shoot for something like that. And um, we'll see how it goes. So I'll, be, I'll need some of these pieces. I guess I can stick these over here now. So I'm going to go ahead and just start to upset uh, the ends on two of these. And we'll do the two of them together. Thank you, James. Bring that up just a little bit more. And uh, it's getting hot already. I usually, let's see, where are my, got these, so that's not the tongs. Here are the tongs. These tongs, these tongs, and those. early. Uh, this is one and a quarter round stock cut at a foot long. Okay. Little brush. 
got a brush? Here it is. Let's see. Maybe I can. A little chunk of steel. Maybe here would be good. Uh, here we go. Now I'm going to prop this up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little texture here under the little giant. Before I take it down some more. Let's see how we're doing here. I'm gonna burn it up, yeah. Back it off just a little bit, please. Just give a little bit of texture there.
back that down. And we'll just hold it at that heat, okay? Do what? We just hold it at this heat a little while. We'll keep it nice and yellow, because I'll take it over to the press in a minute after I finish this guy up. Yeah, it looks nice. I want just a little bit of taper coming off of the head. Just a little bit before we press. Uh, let's see more. No music. All right, I'm gonna have to reset this. I don't like the way this is lining up right now. So I'm gonna have to reset that a little bit. Okay. Put that right there. Uh, this might work here. If you could hold, could you hold this up here? Sure. Great, 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 great. Let's 
see how that lines up. Yeah, that's much better there. Okay, good. All right, back on track. Oh, that's beautiful there. Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, let me just get a little. There we go. Gruffoli, thank you, David Noring. Pull that off a little bit. Maybe I should have done that first. Okay. Boy, what a beautiful tool. Okay. You can take that right there. That's uh, um, graphite. I use Never Seas. That was um, graphite given by David Norrie, I believe. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah. Uh, right there would be good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just going to hit it like this. And if it catches, there we go. Yeah, OK, good. All right. Cool that again. Good. Everything's looking good. Okay. <clears throat> Up we go. I'm not sure right off the bat. It was so long. It's probably S7. Um, I've got a friend who. Did you? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Who has a machine shop? It's, it's either 4140, S7, 5160. Um, there's a lot of mystery tools in my, com in my um, toolbox. I'm trying to organize, and uh, I just found this great new steel. Well, for me, it was new. Y'all probably know of it quite a bit. A30, Atlantic 33. And uh, I was at a friend's shop up in the DC area, Paul Beesler, and he made me a little hammer out of this stuff, and it looks like a beautiful uh, um, piece. But a lot of a lot of the times, I needed to make a quick tool, or you know, um, this actually I've been using this tool for I've probably had this for 12, 15 years, and I don't I haven't I probably haven't used this piece uh, this drift in several years. Um, but I pulled it out the other night and gave it a go. And it, 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 it's holding up pretty good. I didn't have to do too much tweaking. Um, H13 would be great, you know. But uh, OK, let's see my tongs, tongs, tongs. Let's see, we got this. Yeah, that's going to go there. And where are we at here? OK, that's going to be backed off just a hair. I don't want to burn it. Don't want to burn it. OK, up we go. Thank you, sir. There, yeah. I want to get that off there quick because I am taking it down pretty far there. I'm a little off center, which is far for core. So I'm going to come from the back and see if I can't fix that up some.
Watch your, watch your head. Okay, we're, we're not doing too bad. Right down the middle here. So I'm just going to work it side to side. And if I'll get in with a couple other chisels and work from the back. Now obviously, if we're doing a run, we want to get it just absolutely as perfect as we can, set it up, and do it that way one after another after another. Um, here we're going to just get the best we can. Okay. Better? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I don't hear no music. Going to give it a slight. I believe I'm through. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm through, but I've got to cut off a little from this side here. I almost, I always have a Wally Yater swedge block with a nice dish in it, kind of like this dish here down in the anvil, but I didn't put in the list quick enough. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's looking nice. All right, got it, okay. I got it, thank you. Now I'm going to, well, if I, I, I have a bit of an arc here and I want to, a lot of times when I'm forging, um, you know, when, when we're forging, we're creating arcs and we have to pull them out. Um, for me, I like to leave them in, see where I can go with it, as long as it's not too much of an arc. But this one is going to work out fine um, to have a little bit of an arc. Here, we're going to have, I think it's uh, two arcs, one that's going to kind of dish here, but then go this way, and the other one will come this, they'll be a little bit opposite, depending if we, it might look like a tennis player. <laughs> <laughs> 
well, or a fiddle player. But that's what I'm looking for, is to give, the, give, to, give some life here. So I don't take out all the arcs unless I have to. Okay. I'm going to. Pardon? I uh, use yes, a lot of coal, and um, I have three propane forges. Two are working. Let's try it like that. A little different here. Get in there and get that thing out. I suppose I'll redo the uh, the slitter to make a uh, a plug, so we can. It's a little too sharp to come out as a plug. Let's see if I can get that out here. Or you know what I might do is. Get a couple pieces. Okay. I should have thought that out ahead. I missed it that time. Okay. Okay. Paul, you want to hold for me over here? We're going to be finished with here for a little bit. And um, we'll clean these things up. Actually, how's that going to look? There, yeah, that'll be good. If you just hold that for me. Can we just take it? Can you see the the rag in there? Rag in there. Nice, that popped out well, thank you. Right through, a little bit off to one side. Let's see what we can do with the other one. And I realize now that I could just put two little pieces of right here uh, on each side, a little piece of steel, and I could pop right through with that, but I didn't think of it at the time. So the next hole, we'd get it like that. Uh, OK. OK, there we go. Okay, not bad. We can go, we'll use that. Uh, Show it to the camera. <laughs> the camera. All right, uh, what about hot files? Do we have, have some, uh, a couple hot rasps? 
uh, maybe a, a very small one. And I should have thought of that um, too. But you know, think as you go. Okay, there's a nice. Okay, how are we looking here? Uh, Right there is where we want to go. Right there is where we want to go. Okay, okay now um, we're that's all we're going to be doing on this fly press. Maybe we could actually take the whole, disassemble it. Yeah, and then we'll set it up for uh, for for bending. Okay. Um, Two rounds with the one in the middle. Here's actually this would be great. And I think I saw. I'd like to be able to space, if we could, the these components up to two inches together. Or? Um, yeah. W well, we'll use this one. Yeah, we we can use that one, or, or we could use this this one for the top. Okay. And I. I saw a little uh, bending jig. If not, we can do it. Uh, oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just stick this in there, and that'll be fine. No rush. No rush to do that. We'll go there from here. Okay. Alrighty, there's our rasp. Okay, just mainly want to have that handy. Okay, now we'll drift the holes open. And I'm going to start with a small drift where I can, actually, I'm going to use this little drift and open it up a little bit. And then I think I'll use this drift. Oof. And last but not least, I'm going to use this little bullpen, quick little bullpen we made last night. Um, now at this point, when I start to drift in for the final hole, I want two sizes of the hole. I'm going to want a larger hole punched up in this area, and a smaller one punched here. So, so I don't forget, that's going to be, I guess I could just look at the hole and see one's bigger than the other. So, and there's only two holes, so I'm in luck, because I'm kind of scatterbrained. So basically, we're going to duplicate these pieces now. And it might not be a bad idea to mark with chalk the different where I'm going. That's going to be the small one. I'm going to mark that. Somewhere in that vicinity would be good. Um, I had some calipers brought, but I had to take them out. And that's going to go almost all the way. I think I'll make this one just a little bit smaller than this hole here. So I'm just going to mark them real quick. Okay. That there where I can see it, otherwise I'll lose it. 
So, first thing is we'll get this guy going. Uh, here we go. Perfect. Nice. Love that color. Okay, so I'm going to eyeball this right down the center. Yeah, here, here you go. Do you mind holding that? Okay, right there. Okay, I got it now. Thank you. Okay, good. Looking good back there. Okay. more we'll do the same thing okay here you go Paul come on up a little bit yeah right there right there okay I've got it <laughs> It's a little. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, let's see. I'm going to go up to this drift now. I'm going to put a little graphite on it since we have it as well. I think that will fit in this one now. Mm, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Okay. Graphite. Graphite's over here. Okay, uh, I'd like to go with a little bit bigger of a hammer than this. Um, that's right, we didn't, we didn't find any. Well, we got that one there. These guys, yeah. Yeah, this will be fine. I like a short-handled hammer at this point, but that's, uh, that'll work. Very picky, you know, got to have a zillion hammers. Uh, oh. There, I got it. I got it. Yeah, let me see this one. Check that back. Not too bad. This one. Uh, I think I think we're we're good for now. You can get this one ready. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, I'm going to come from the other side now, and I'll be doing it right here so I can get that arc, and that'll straighten it out a bit. 
Uh, that one. These two. This is probably about to burn me. Okay. Okay. Set it there and go. Pardon? Can I work on this one? This one? Okay. Thank you. A oh, what a lovely color. God. It's just alive. Look at this one here. Okay, that's all we're going with him. Good. Okay. Hot yet. They're not looking too bad. They're going down the center. All right. How are we doing here? Good? OK. I think with this guy, I'll get the larger hole first. I know you see what there. <laughs> there you go. OK. And I'll have to work this guy over here. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, I, here, I'll give you a hand. You got it? Yeah, right, right, right back here is fine. Okay, and it looks like I can go, yeah, through this hole here. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do that. This guy over here. Beautiful swedge block. Okay. Uh, you know what? This is a little bit. Okay, this guy's a little bit off now. So we're going to concentrate the heat on this side. It's a little bit fatter. We want it a little cooler here when we drift, and hopefully that'll straighten it all up. Right, how about this one? Okay, this one. Oof. Okay. All right. And I've got this and this. Gonna go down here. Swig of water. Mm. Uh, I want to tell you I'm so honored to be here. Um, I got a chance to meet Francis only once, uh, but I corresponded with him a little bit, and my first blacksmith teacher was Doug Merkel. And um, I took a class at John C. Campbell Folk School. Doug just happened to be the teacher. I didn't even know who the teacher would be. And Doug also just happened to live about 20 minutes from my house. So it worked out well. And um, Francis was one of Doug's main, oh yeah, we're going to go the, yeah, you want to get that. We want to get, yeah, we want to get the small side. We want to get the short side, the thin side. Okay, let me grit this up. Okay, so let's 
see what we got. Thank you. Okay. Very chaotic approach. It's, it's not looking bad. Uh, let's see where we're at with it. I think I got quite a ways to go. Yeah. Okay, good. And this drift here is just a little chunk of mild steel. Same as, same drop that, that this other one was on. Okay. Thank you. I'll even pour a little. I'm going to pour a little water over the fat side. Just pull it a hair. Now, this would be the smaller hole. I think we'll open it up just a little bit more. It looks like it straightened it up a little bit. We'll do the same thing. We don't want it too straight. Don't get too jazzy, but don't get too straight. Okay, yeah, a little bit more. I want to check that one more time. With my chalk. I'll go right about there. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're past it. Okay. That's going to leave. That's going to leave a big hole on the back side. So what I may do. Well, we'll. That's going to be a much larger hole in the back. Um, so we may have to hammer that in under the little giant. Or or f drift. We'll, we can drift the final, we can drift whatever piece is going to go into that hole. I think we'll, we'll go that way, and then we'll see if we have to hammer that back. OK. I want to finish for the moment? That's, yeah, that's, that's going to be finished for the moment. And then we're going to be taking um, these two pieces and drawing them out under the little giant. Wait, yeah. Wait, wait. Well, I'm going to do, I'm going to try and pull it out to about this long. Pardon? All right. Actually, well, I can, I tell you what, we'll, I'll, I'll work the, uh, we'll do it like this. I'll, I'll, I'll work in, rather than draw it out from the taper, I'll work in this section. Yeah. Here, yeah. Okay. Okay, so where's our pins over here? No, that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna use it on the other one. What are you gonna do with this one? That one I'm gonna I'm gonna use that under the swedge. I'm gonna keep uh, pushing that one out. Bring that up. 
up a little bit. Sip of water, eat these chisels. Okay. Through with this one. All right, that's kind of a nice big arc here. Check these arcs. That's the smaller one. This is the larger one. That's a little bit big of a arc. this and I think before I draw out this other one I'm gonna try and let's see on the cone I think I'm gonna get in there on this other one our, our taper is inaccurate to the punch and the hole in the back is kind of big so I'm gonna try and push it back down over the horn of the anvil like that that might help us out. What do you want to do next? Okay. We heat up in no, here. Let's do one at a time. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Um, and then we'll how are we doing there? Is that yeah, are the uh, is the ring? It'll be a while. Don't talk talk about nothing. Okay, well I'm gonna go back and tighten up that ring a little bit. Okay, we'll heat that up and I'll come back to the ring. Does anybody have any questions or got a, what's that? I've got some water going here, thanks. That was a good question. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, if we, if we, sometimes when we make our slit for one reason or another, um, it'll go off to one side right. or the other. And what we get is this. A fat side and a narrow side. Okay, okay so, or perhaps this is off. Okay, so sometimes the whole axis the center axis is off. So, so we want to bring it back into alignment. So the heating of, and I'm, I'm glad that James caught it because I would have learned the hard way. Oh, wrong side. Anyhow, so by heating this side, the thin side up. Now wait a second, let's see how we, cooling that side, yeah. You know, sometimes it's just like I, I can't figure out what is my right and what is my left. If I do it, it'll work or I'll make the mistake and then I'll know and make the, uh, and go on from there. So we're going to cool, cool this side, heat this up, and, and we can move the, the circle over the, this, the, the steel over here will contort where this okay. will stay. So. So that, now you're making this longer. Doesn't that bring this over? Well, you want to do it, you want to, as you do that, since it's still hot, you're also bringing it. You also want to bring it back. So you're correcting two things at once, right. hopefully. And that could be done in the, you, you, you could clamp it down 
here. How are we doing there? Okay. So you could clamp it down here off with the uh, still hot with the bullpen in it and hammer this over but then which will cock the one out to the side and then you'll have to bring that back um, if we didn't have the upset on it um, we could heat it up or it could be done with two hammers like this and then hit over here which would ding up our nice round piece but then we could use a, a swedge to set in uh, that, that fit the round contour or it could be done if the swedge block were were turned on end we, if this were uh, part like that you mean yeah. yeah it could be done like that um, there's a million ways to do it the, the point is jump in there do it make the mistake get the feel of, of the stock and the tools and you get it you know you'll you so essentially you want to cool your, your thin side right and I think I uh, probably cooled the wrong side. All right, ready. You ready? Okay. Okay, after. It moves the most where it's soft. It moves the most where it's soft. Right, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to see. Let's see. There's, I want to close up. I'm going to try and close up a little of that back end here. And also, I can ah, here, let me grab this. I think I want to upset that just a little bit more. That'll also take some of that off. Okay. Is that on the same side there? Yeah. Little yeah. Okay. yeah, we'll keep these two things for Okay. 
Uh, we might as well start. We'll head this one up too. Do what? We'll get this hot up here too. All right. Okay. We might as well head that third pin while we're at it. Anybody else have a what? What's that? Listen to in the morning? Did you say? Oh, um, uh, traditional Cuban. No, I like. I actually, I, I listen to a lot of uh, a lot of Cuban and uh, Latin. It's funny. I when I was first getting going. I'd been foraging for about five, four or five years, and you know, you gotta, the business has gotta start to work, and it wasn't quite working. And I was at a, um, I was helping an electrician friend of mine um, as they were putting up some dormitories. And there was a, there was a huge crew, I guess they were um, Mexicans, and they were just kicking butt. I mean, th this building was just going up like this. And they get paid by the floor. Um, but the music was just hitting it. And it was just that pulse, that just pulse that keeps you going. And as a musician, you know, I, until about 100 years ago, radio, rhythm, in the work zone was part of what helped the work get done. If it was, if it was on a, a, a ship, it was the teamwork of rhythm with somebody keeping rhythm that got the sails tons of canvas hoisted. You know, I mean, you think of a chain gang, but there was always rhythm in the work being done. Rhythm, rhythm. And when a whole group can sync up to that rhythm, and uh, a whole shop, you know, I just, uh, that's when it's very powerful for me. That's when it's the process of making it happen that, you know, it, it, it's, it really is to me the process. It, the finished product is, is absolutely important. But how you get to that point, um, that's the quality of the life of making it. Because, you know, when, you're, when you've got, 80, 100 hours, 150 hours in a piece. You know, I want, I want to enjoy the process. But music helps me very much. I always have some music playing. But I listen to all kinds, from jazz to New Orleans, old time. I love old country. Hank Williams, you know. You play too, or? Yeah, everything. There's, everything's got to sync up. I didn't. I couldn't. Uh, there was just the tools. It was 100 pounds. So if anybody brought a banjo, maybe we'll pick some. So OK. So Dr. Vork, enough talk now. OK, how are we doing in here? Oh, this one needs a little more heat. This one. OK. Have we, I can start to head this one over here then. Well, you can start forging this one. Oh, OK. Let's, let's go there. Thank you.
Now to get this arc in here, this is when I love that, that the Wally Yader swedge block because I can just, uh, with a round face and the round back, I can lay it in there. But this is a beautiful anvil. I'm gonna take that out anyhow. How are we looking there? That good? Yeah, that's plenty. Great. Okay, we'll get uh, we'll get some heat going. Here, here. Take care, Tyler. Oh, thank you.
I don't want to get a cold shot here. Okay, I don't want to get a cold shot, so I'm going to start working on the tip, pulling that out, and then work on the center part. Good. When I'm pulling out a long taper, I want to get as much work done and the narrow end as possible because I can always come back. It's going it's to cool the quickest. 
So I'm working there, the, the, um, the friction, the, the concussion from the hammer is putting heat back in. And I see how much heat I still have here on a big hammer, I can always come back and work that out. But I like to get the tip, tip first. Ooh, pretty. Pull that back a little bit. We'll just set this one off here for a little bit. And I'll work on this. Okay.
Gonna blend it up a little bit here. Okay, sip of water. Thank you. This is the boring part, drawing it out, watching this. But this is where I really enjoy. I want to. I want to. I want to pull it out as long as I can. So I want a nice, long, elegant taper. And uh, this is kind of fun. Sometimes it'll go this way, that way. I like to watch it. If something, if an arc really hits me, I want to keep it, I'll keep it. But I've got to remember, I want to set the holes to the piece that is going to be put in. So I need to keep it fairly straight so I can drift it in. I'll use, uh, I'll use the one piece, I'll heat up the hole and use one piece to hammer it in to the other, to the hole, to fit it. Mm. Right there.
What's, what's all three of these started one foot long? Yes, they all started at one foot. Um, I'm looking. Let's see if I have. Maybe this could be used. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Here. This one, that is the smaller hole. This hole, uh, that. There's only two ways it can go, and it takes me about four times, there we go, to fit it. So what I'm going to want to do is to heat up this hole and drive this piece in. And then we can get in the back if we need to and clean up here. It's going to be a loose fit. Um, I kind of like that Originally, I made one of these before, and I, w li I like to be able to do different, set it up in different ways, have it like a toy, changeable sculpture. Anyhow, um, but it'll sit on the mantelpiece, something like that. So, leave that right there for now. That's the... Is that the large piece or the small piece? Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, that's the small. Yeah, that's the large. I'm just going to mark this for the small piece. So this piece will fit into this piece. And that piece is ready to hammer. Those both pieces off.
right in here we got a nice bulge. We want to correct that now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm almost. Why don't I? Yeah, let me get this guy out. That sounds good. What time is it now?
Yeah, let's see how we, yeah, that'll be good. That's just about there anyhow. I can hammer that out. Okay, that's coming along. Okay, what I'm going to do, event, uh, we're going to have a little scroll at the end, nice pretty little scroll. But since I'm going to be fitting these to themselves and hammering them in, something may go wrong and it might get stuck. So I'll need to hammer it out. So I'm going to leave, I'm not going to put the little scrolled end on in case I have to hammer it. Okay, this is hot. We'll set this down. That'll be ready. Uh, let's see, here we go here. Yeah, good, okay. Okay, that's going to that's going to bring us in within reason. So this will be good time. We're going to take a little break now. Um, I've still got some drawing out to do here. So since you've been watching me draw out, 
Um, I think it, we can take a break, but I think I need to draw out this a little bit more if I'm going to finish it 11.30 or 11.45. Um, this is kind of the discipline part of the uh, procedure. When we start bending, that's the more expression, expressive uh, part. So, whoops, scratch. Okay. Fifteen-minute break. Be back around ten twenty. Thank you. Would you mind uh, when you when you you come back?